Hello and welcome to Ready Waves by Totterbird. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. In front of me I have a Kaito KA345 AM-FM shortwave portable radio with an MP3 player. Awesome! I like this little radio, <laughs> as you can tell. Awesome. <laughs> My new favorite word of the week. Uh, okay, I purchased this radio for a total of $19.99, shipped from Amazon, and what a little jewel. So let's get started. This is the box that came in, Kaito K345, built-in DSP chip inside, little body, high sensitivity. Picture of the radio there, um, built-in, what does that say, contract speed encoder tuning knob. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> this is cool, alarm clock, sleep timer calendar, date and time functions. So yeah, cool stuff on here. Let's see what else we got. We get user manual, cable, battery, cool. Uh, there you go, bigger picture. Okay, there's for the frequency nuts, there you are. It's got the expanded FM, your shortwave, 5.9 to 21.8, the AM 520 to 1710, cool. And here we go. You can pause and read. This thing does quite a bit. It also has FM stereo, even though it doesn't say it on the box. Found it out by just messing around with it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this box. Sweet. First thing we got is a battery. Let's see, it's one of those DL5C varieties. These are pretty cool. I like these. I got my dedicated charger somewhere laying around here. I use this. Yeah, let me pull it up. I use this little guy here. I don't know, you can buy them on eBay for like five bucks. They're great. You know, they charge them up fast, like I think an hour, hour and a half. So there you go, 800 milliamp hour, BL5C. Sweet. I preloaded mine with a different one. Let's see here, we got the charging cable, which I believe is a mini. Yeah, it's a mini variety. You know, I don't mind this because it's a little stronger jack. You know, those micros are so thin, I'm always afraid I'm going to break the jack receptacle as you're inserting the cable so that is a better design all right get that let's see what else we get ah, the little radio box is empty all right so we got instruction page user manuals um okay plural but there's only one all right there's a little pause and read i think it's on the box Blue LEDs, blue LCD backlight. Yeah, blue is like really bright blue. I don't know how it's going to turn on the video. Hopefully nice. Let's see here. It's got all kinds of fun stuff. Install the battery, set the time and date, alarm, sleep timer. Backside, using the radio. Number two player, how to charge your battery. What the buttons do. Hopefully be able to cover that. If I forget, I'll grab this. <laughs> and then there's shortwave bands right there. Pretty cool. And just a little bit more basic info. Okay, so let's get that radio. Let's off to the side where I can get to it. All right, bubble wrapped, nice. One thing else right away, no wrist strap. What? Yep, there's no spot for it either. <laughs> so okay, let's set this down here. We'll go over dimensions of the Kaido. Uh, we have four and a half inches wide, two and three quarter inches high, and one inch of depth. Let's look at the features. This little guy. Right away, I love this color, this uh, gunmetal, dark metallic color. Pretty cool. Um, and it's black on the back, so yeah, it's tough looking radio. Mr. Tough. And uh, yeah, it can be a dust magnet, I think. Here we go. Okay, so let's go see left side. There's nothing on the left side. The front, we get the speaker. That speaker looks like the same in a TIV DO 115. They got good bass response uh, and, you know, decent mid range. And that speaker, I think, measures about an inch and three eighths. It's almost an inch and a half. Uh, there's AM, FM, shortwave radio, MP3 player, sweet. Kaito, there's our LCD display. It does light up when I turn it on. If you can notice there, it says weak. And there's a, you know what, I'm going to turn it on. I'll just make sure the volume's down. We have our time. Okay, got to turn it off again. Okay, so you get the clock going and then the date, which is nice, 4.15. And it's the week, uh, day of the week seventh day of the week so it's sunday yay and this is a little battery indicator i believe this lights up when the battery runs dead or running dead dsp radio so you saw the four buttons here we have 
a shortwave button that has a back function for your MP3 playback. We have the AM band button, which functions as your play pause and your fun button. <laughs> I think that means function, but that's pretty, I like that fun. All right, and then, yeah, <laughs> I love it. And then the, this is to also toggle between MP3 playback and the AM band. Did I say alarm set? Does the alarm set. FM key does the forward on the MP3 and also sets the clock on the power off mode. And the power button also has a sleep function where you can set the sleep anywhere from 10 minutes to 90 minutes. It's awesome. I don't think I have to show it, but it has increments from 10 to 90. Tuning uh, jog wheel. Kind of interesting. The bottom. I'm glad it doesn't extend past the bottom because that'd be bad. Um, on the side here, it's at the bottom, so it can be easily bumped. Uh, I've noticed myself bumping it, so just one thing to keep in mind. Uh, but it is fun to tune. All right, let's see what else we got on the right-hand side. We got stuff. We got the mini uh, USB charging receptacle to charge the internal battery, which I'll show you. We have a nice volume wheel. I like having that. No digital volume, which is nice. Headphone jack. Sounds really good. Uh, at your lowest level, though, you do have sound. It's low-level sound, but you do have sound. It doesn't go to complete silence, which sometimes irritates some people. But for me, it wasn't too bad. Um, and I'm usually a proponent against that. Uh, but FM stereo sounds really good on here. Uh, MP3 playback sounds really good. So yeah, headphone jack experience is really nice. So I'm really surprised for a $20 radio. Uh, and plus being digital, it's great. So let's go ahead and the bottom, they put little rubber bumpers on the bottom there, I guess, to keep it so it stands up nicely. There you are. Top of the radio, we got a USB input. So this is for a thumb drive. Um, but, you know, those little low-profile ones are really cool. So if you didn't have a micro SD card, you could plug one of those in, and that'd be nice. It wouldn't stick out too much. Uh, I'd rather prefer the micro SD. Those are dime a dozen. And in here, I put one in. I think I got a... Uh, let's see what I got in here. I got a SanDisk 16... Or no, it's an 8. Okay, it's an 8. 8 gig ultra. So, yeah, it works pretty good. You can put a lot on there. I use for tests. And then we have our antenna. Whopping. How long is this? 17-inch. Nice telescoping antenna, it rotates, and there's no notch really, but it does get to a decent level. There's no kickstand, so that's how it's going to sit if you had it laying flat. All right, and then the back of the radio. We have some information, Kaito KA345, vented case, battery, compartment you can get to, which is great. So if it runs dead and you can't charge it, throw a fresh one in there, because I always have extras. It's the way to go. So let's go ahead and do some tuning. So I'm going to extend the antenna. We're going to go on the FM band, just kind of stroll through, and uh, let's see what's going on. Holy cow, that's bright. Um, what? Oh, yeah, I just hit the... Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I started setting the time. So let's go to the FM band. <laughs> I'm going to have to angle this here. Wow, is that bright? <laughs> yeah, I can't adjust the setting on that, so we're going to go ahead and just live with it. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn... Uh, Let's go all the way down to the bottom of the band here, so you guys can hear it, and we'll go from there. And I'm just going to use the whip. I'm not going to hook up to anything. I'm only for short wave. I may hook it up. So we're just going to. Yeah, it's the only way to tune it is by this wheel. So let's bring it on down. Come on, sensitive little guy. It has a seek, which is nice. So let's go ahead and turn it up. I'm just going to use the seek function. just wrote a fantastic book for me and so in offending someone that led us into a substantive discussion about the life issues we were both dealing with so even though it could be notice the clock stays on there oh yeah light went off yay um there's a signal strength indicator eh, it's like not very informative but it's there Shows the band you're on, and it shows if you're in stereo or not. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and tune her up. Try to keep that so you guys can see the display at an angle there. Oh, this radio is really picking up stations. Transparent. That 90.5 is usually hard to get. at over 150 leading. It's getting a lot of 
limitations. <laughs> Moment of silence for a good station long gone. <laughs> wow, this is cool. <laughs> Love it. This thing's great. It's got great FM Four reception. What do you mean? Station after station. Oh, yeah. Wow. There's that whoop again. I love that. My new word, whoop. Amazingly whoop. <laughs> oh, this is a great, great radio, guys, for 20 bucks. Or just FM. Holy cow. He's rocking it out. I think he's whooping again. Usually a cool rock station here locally. WFXF. Ordering experience and be where you have to be. I believe. <laughs> All right. Austin tops. Always a Hispanic channel in the end. All right, so cool. Um, yeah, we're gonna spend a lot of time here. So since I have this um, extended, I'm gonna go ahead and just we're gonna play with short wave a little bit, hit the medium wave a little bit, and go from there. So short wave, rock out. Short wave, you can keep hitting this to cycle the bands. We'll start at the bottom band. We'll see if we can find anything. Turn this up. Uh, yeah, I found something. Doing pretty good. Uh, the wire I'm using is just a simple Texan, like I think, 16 foot wire. Or probably 15 foot. That is the current time, by the way. 10:14. I love having the clock there. It's great. What a good little radio. I like it. Just for simple broadcast. Yeah. And for 20 bucks, what can you expect? It's doing good. It was really impressing me with the uh, AM this morning during the day. It was great. So I had some of my better uh, little AM portables out and I was comparing them with this radio. And this radio did really good. So I think this is a. I wish it would show which. Is it showing which band? Oh, it is. There it is. Second band. I was wondering if we're showing the shortwave band. It is. Cool. So, yeah, there's a lot of activity tonight on this. That's good to see. I'm glad. But, yeah, I really, like I said, I said it over and over again, but I really like the clock being there. That's great. For inexpensive radio. It's great. I love it. Okay. So, we're going to keep it rolling. Probably. So, get the 10. I'm sure it's. Probably pretty much silence after 10. I don't think we'll get the clock signal. Usually I don't get it uh, this late at night. But we can try. So. Okay, the light stays on. Oh, okay, past it. Let's see if we can get it. Slow down. 
Oh, uh -huh. wants to seek if you go too fast. Okay, no clock signal, but I did hear it during the day, so it does pick that up. Okay, we're gonna lower the antenna down, and we're going to do some. Uh, before I go, uh, yeah, let's stick with the AM. And then what we'll do is we'll do an audio check, um, and you know, so you can see the audio is towards the end of the video. So let's just go ahead and we're just gonna breeze through these real quick. Evidence of obstruction, and he is morally unfit. Here's what there's absolute. Sorry if you guys can't read that. I'm trying to angle it so you can. <laughs> You're listening to the Clark Howard Show. Clark Howard. Okay, so yeah, I get the uh, Nashville station, WSM. Sweet, 434 miles. Hey, looking good for a little $20 sparker, yeah. Cool thing is, you don't need to add batteries. You get a rechargeable battery right away. That is a big deal for me. With no interference from pop-ups or intrusive ads, check out the It sounds really good. I like the tuner, and I like this 10K stepping. It's really, it's really nice. Um, there's no 9K step mode that I saw, so. If you guys were wondering, no 9K stepping. But there's the expanded FM band. If I hit the FM band again, you can cycle it. The Baltics or Poland. To do to Poland what he's done in the so this is WLW Cincinnati. Then because we are yes. gonna do it. Out of station last night at so, 710. Um, they must have had you know, 720 uh, must have had something changed, off. Um, which was good. People's ideas first time. This is CFZM Zoomer. Toronto, Ontario. I've noticed with this radio, it starts out kind of quiet and kind of builds up in volume. I don't know if it's trying to lock in the signal, but I like that. That doesn't get louder, so you just give it a second. WSB, Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. WJR, Detroit. Heard something there. This is usually uh, WAC. Oh, there we go. Cool. So that's WABC uh, right there. I have volume all the way up so you can hear it. New York City, New York, 750 miles. I'll bet you this radio might benefit from a loop. Yeah, that'd be nice. Hey, I'm Dennis Black. Join us on 780. Texas. This video's going to be long. Sorry, guys, but hey, I like to breeze through my medium wave. It's just fun. Okay, so WCPT, that's Juliet. It's pretty close to me. 60 miles on a 1,500-watt tower. WCCO, Minneapolis, 310 miles, and the interference is gone, which is great. You're getting louder. So, 840 WHS. This is KOA Denver. You can barely hear it, but it's there. Which is uh, 890 miles. CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. No one can do these drills except you because you've spent so many hours. WWL, New Orleans. 865 miles. Fascinated by the.
Don't forget here, WCBS here. No, not tonight. I'm surprised. It's a pretty strong station. Okay. Try to use the restroom, and the manager said. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just breeze on up to some. Five game losing streak as for Houston, going the opposite way after starting off the year nine and two. They have dropped four of their last the five. So like. Bartolo. We got ten twenty. KDK Pittsburgh, 450 miles. There's WBZ Boston, 880 miles. And then we're just going to zip on up. Some live stations. This is WTM Cleveland. Okay. Radios, if radio Louis. Station, say, make it seem like he was evening things out. Nice, I haven't heard this clear in a while. WRVA Richmond, Virginia. 665 miles. So this is Wham, Rochester, New York, 545 miles. Yeah, that's difficult. A couple stations on top of each other. I was going to dial this up. Right. Sometimes it's a CIWW, Ottawa, Ontario. 660 miles, but don't know if this is it. Let's just take this on up to uh, 1510. WALC, Nashville, Tennessee. Four appearances this year for the Texas WCKY, Rangers. Cincinnati, 300 miles. KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles away. CHHA, Toronto. Not really plugged in. It's a little kind of funky. Don't know if that's from the light. Nope. Might just be on that frequency. Nope. Something interfering. So it looks like we get a little bit of interference at the top end here. Not sure where it's from. Maybe it's trying to find a station and it's locking in and out doing that popping. Okay, so we did a lot there. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn this down and we're going to go ahead and do a sound check. I got my MP3 card in there. We'll just run through this for about a minute. Pretty basic MP3 mode. You got your pause, play, back, forward. There is no seek forward or seek back. Just basic. That's all you need, really, for a $20 radio. It's like cool. And it still shows the clock. <laughs>
final thoughts. That was fun, showing different reels. I forgot to do that. I forgot to give you size comparison. But I remembered at the end. So if you guys made it this far, the hardcore guys got to see that. All right, so final thoughts on the Kaito KA345 AM FM Stereo Shortwave MP3 Playback Rechargeable Battery. Um, these are all great features, and it's 20 bucks. Seems well put together. Let's jump up the camera. Got a low. Um, the tent looks good. Like I said, you got the SD playback. Um, headphone is great. Having the charging capability and not needing any batteries, big bonus. You know, that's great. I mean, when you're going to buy a radio, you don't even have to buy batteries for it. <laughs> Come on. 20 bucks. Reception, not bad. You saw the FM. It has so many stations on the FM with just a single whip there. Of course, shortwave for basic rudimentary shortwave. Yeah, I'm getting stations that aren't very far. I'm not getting across the globe with this thing. But, um, hey, this is a good song. <laughs> I'm not getting across, across the globe, but you know what? I don't really listen to a lot of shortwave, and to be honest with you, this is getting the same stations my other shortwave radios are getting. So, uh, let's see. AM reception, not bad at all. I'm loving it. Like, during the day, this thing was great. I was listening to some of my locals. It sounded beautiful. Um, so, yeah. For 20 bucks, compared to, say, a Sony P26, I'm just comparing this to a Sony. I'm a Sony fanboy, but you know I'm a Kaido fanboy, too. Um, so I'm going to compare this. This would be a great buy for 20 bucks. It is 20 bucks. So when you compare it to that Sony P26, which I think is like $18, um, here you're getting a digital radio with shortwave capability, with an MP3 player, with a rechargeable battery. Um, give or take, some people might like using regular batteries. I don't, you know, can't knock that. The speaker, a lot of bass and mid-range. I mean, a lot, which really sounds good. Uh, if you're into that, rocking out, it sounds really good. Um, yeah, just uh, a little different uh, tuning style. Um, yeah, you probably have a problem in your pocket with this. You'd have to carry it somehow to protect it from being bumped. Uh, that's the only issue I see there. It's not recessed, kind of on the front there. Maybe you can get a case or you can build something. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, for me, this is just a great tabletop radio. That's what I'd be doing. You know, I'm not going to run around with it. Uh, let's see what else can I add. Can I compare it to uh, Sanjin? Yeah, even a Sanjin. Just, you know, the Sanjin SR735. I know those are analog dials and everything. Uh, but this, actually, I like better than the Texan. Um, was it the 818? That has the, you know, it's like this. And it has digital across this way. That little radio is just a pain. I hate it. <laughs> it's a pain to operate. The headphone jack is a bummer, you know, but this thing is just amazing. And when I, when I got heard it was stereo, even better. So that right there is a big selling point. All those other radios I mentioned, no stereo. That's a big deal to me. i got to have my stereo radio. So yeah, if you guys are in the market for inexpensive radio, 20 bucks. I mean, what can I say? Go for it. You're not going to be disappointed at all. Oh, yeah, and you got the backlit screen, too. Love that. Super bright. And a clock. And a calendar. <laughs> and an alarm clock. Did I mention alarm clock? So you got it all. I love it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, hit the big like button. Thumbs up. Um, if you like the radio, big thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Hit the little bell icon. Ding, 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 ding. Tidebird's awesome. Tidebird's awesome. Yeah. Sing that if you want. But I don't know if it'll get you anything extra. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm having fun here. This is great. Good little radio. Real happy with it. Um, so, yeah. What I was gonna mention? Something about commenting? Yeah, comment. <laughs> Kaido K three four five three four five. You can count right three four five. I like how they have the number scheme. <laughs> it's really easy to remember. Uh, comment what you think. Boom. Yeah, the Kaito. Rock out. All right, guys, take care.